Sorry, is there anybody who is not comfortable with English? Everybody is comfortable with English. Okay, good. <clears throat> How many of you have not heard of glaucoma till now? Show of hands, please, if you don't mind. Everybody has heard of glaucoma before, or is there anybody in the hall who has not heard of glaucoma? Till now. So everybody has heard of glaucoma. How many of you know about what is the latest way of cataract surgery is done? What is the latest way in which a refractive surgery is done? Taking off glasses and things like that. Would you agree that the knowledge about the cataract surgery where the intraoc lens is implanted or the refractive surgery to remove glasses is more than the knowledge about glaucoma in the public as well as amongst you journalists? Would you agree that? Huh? So, the, the point is that when there is a cataract developing, we know that there is a cataract because of which we can't see well. When we are had to wear glasses and we don't look good, we want to remove the glasses, we know that there is some need for which we need to get things done. As opposed to those kinds of things, glaucoma is a condition where until somebody becomes visually challenged, blind, he will not know that there is a problem in the eye. So just to quote a couple of examples, it's almost 10 to 15 years ago that a senior commanding officer of a CRPF unit, he must be having yearly checkups. He retired, moved to Hyderabad and then came for a regular checkup to Hyderabad to us and he was found to be blind in one eye because of glaucoma. There is a professor of surgery who retired and came for a regular checkup. He was operating all the while. And he came to us and we found that he was blind in one eye because of glaucoma. A young girl, a millionaire's daughter, was going to get her contact lenses and glasses changed every year. And because that contact lens practitioner was not there, she went to a different ophthalmologist and he, that one does not realize. It's like driving a new car or a new scooter. When it comes in, you know it's very good. But as you keep driving it for 3 years and 5 years, it starts deteriorating so slowly that you don't realize that there is something wrong with the car or scooter that you are driving. But if you suddenly change to a new car, then you will know what's the difference between what you are driving and what you this, this one is. So, similar, so essentially then, when they go for a checkup, that's what needs to be done. There is another interesting statistic that one needs to understand. One of the famous statistics about glaucoma, we are all interested in how many people go blind with glaucoma, how much of glaucoma is there in the community and things like that, but that does not help an individual patient. What helps an individual patient is something like what I am going to tell you now. In the best of the developed countries, 50% of the patients with glaucoma in the community are not diagnosed. That means if you consider everybody sitting in this room as a community, half of us could be having glaucoma and we don't know that we are having glaucoma. In a developing country like India, when we do a population based study, what we see is that 90% of the people in, with glaucoma in the community do not know that they have glaucoma. So, 50% of the patients even in the best of the circumstances, when they have glaucoma, they do not know that they have glaucoma. The other surprising thing is 50% of those who have glaucoma, who are seeing a doctor and diagnosed to be having glaucoma, were seen by an eye care practitioner, either an ophthalmologist or an optometrist, in less than 2 years ago and the glaucoma was not diagnosed. That means, as a responsible person, I go for a checkup, but the person who is seeing me does not pick up that I have a glaucoma. So, 50% of the glaucoma is missed when somebody has glaucoma because proper examination is not done. The importance of knowing that is the fact that if all of us know that we can get a LASIK surgery done and we don't know that when we go for an eye examination, we should ask for the eye pressure to be checked up or our fundus to be checked up. We are in a hurry, we want to go get a drop given for the irritation that we have in the eye. We are in a hurry, we want to just take the reading glasses and go away. We don't want to invest that time for a complete examination. So either we don't invest time or the doctor is busy, he does not do it. So 50% of patients who have glaucoma have seen a doctor but their diagnosis is not picked up. So for that to happen, the doctors have to be aware that complete examination has to be done and and understand in the eye travel through the focusing elements in front of the eye. The image is formed in the sensitive nerve layer on the back of the eye called the retina and are carried to the brain by the optic nerve. The optic nerve 
is a bundle of nerve fibers that transmit signals to the brain. A clear fluid called aqueous humor nourishes the cornea and the lens. This fluid is produced constantly by the ciliary processes, flows from the posterior Glaucoma can also be hereditary and be passed on from parents to children. The resulting damage to the optic nerve may be sudden or may occur gradually. In most cases, there are no symptoms until the person experiences loss of vision.